Rashad Bateman returned to practice, and we've been clamoring for him to come back for a long time. He had a serious foot injury that kept him out for a while, but today was his first day of practice. I got a quick video here to show you some of the things that he brings to the table when he's healthy. And um, just want to give you a taste of what we were missing while he was out and to show you what he can do once we add him into the influx of receivers that we brought in. So welcome back, Rashad Bateman. Let's go. On this first one, contested catches. You know, you need a guy that can can win one on one matchups, and there's no better one on one matchup than right here. You see him even. Like DB has great position, the Zen phase, and you just need a guy that can can win some one on one battles. He just goes up and outplays the DB, high points the ball, and then tries to finish the play. You need a guy that can do that. Um, and you know, with a healthy baby coming back, you got that to add to Odell. So now you're looking at two, potentially three guys that can do that. You know, depending on what Nelson Aguilar is having, because he seems to be having a good count. But with Bateman back, you got a third guy that can get contested catches. Let's move on to the second point I was trying to make. Yak guy. You know, simple throws, little hitches, little slants, and, you know, they turn into that. Took a simple hitch, made a guy miss, made a second, second guy miss, was able to, uh, the third guy tackled him, which was, I think, the linebacker chasing it down, but made the initial corner miss, stuck it on the safety, and if not for that linebacker chasing it back down, he's off to the races. Again, you got a contested catch guy, you got a yak guy. Moving on. And you got a good route runner. This is versus the Patriots. You got a guy that can, can come out, look at him, stem outside, and make it look like a fade, until it ain't, just like Jerry said. Make everything look like a fade, until it ain't. And look at all that separation he created. That's a lot of separation. So now it's simple for the quarterback to just give him the ball. Then he turns back in the yak guy. Look at that. He turns right back in the yak guy. And here. He can blow the top off of coverage. He's just going to split the safeties. And get deep over the middle of the field. Splitting both safeties. Gets a, a, a bomb from Lamar. And completes it. Just something a little quick. You know, nothing extraordinary. I just wanted to give you a taste of what you're getting with getting a healthy Rashad Bateman back. And I can't forget about this play that got us all excited. Bateman's at the bottom of your screen, and he brings you explosive plays. Everybody needs that in the offense at some point. Watch at the route. He's working him outside. He's going to get him up to turn his hips, sticks that foot in the ground, spins him around. But I like the throw by Lamar, and you get all hands, a solid hands catch. Nobody, all hands, pick that thing out the air and turn the jets on. This is the part of the game I didn't know he had. From watching him, I didn't know he could spray like this. And he sprayed these cats, and this got us all excited. We were expecting a, a huge, huge year out of him, and he ended up, you know, with the injury. But now he's back today, healthy, and hopefully we can, you know, when the season goes around, his skill set on top of Odell's skill set, on top of what Aguilar is showing, on top of Zay Flowers and whoever the other two receivers are, we can have a formidable wide receiver tandem that can light the league on fire. So I just wanted to give you a quick video and talk about what we were missing when Rashad Bateman was out there versus what we have when he's there. He can do all those things. All those things I listed, I just showed you an example of them. And so I appreciate you guys for coming out. Make sure you like the video if you like the video. If you have not subscribed, please do so and hit that bell so you can be notified when these videos drop. The 2023 season is here. Don't forget, we'll have our watch party Saturday, the preseason watch party Saturday during the game. So come watch the game with me. Actually, you won't watch the game with me because I can't show it, but you know what I mean. And um, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.